The inspector is another integral part of the Skylight interface. Always available at the press of a button, it provides instant access to the current track or bus properties, as well as selected clip properties, the current channel mix controls, and the Pro Channel. By default, the inspector is docked to the left of the track view, but can also be docked to the right or floated. Either choose the option from the dock menu or drag it into position. It can be collapsed using the collapse icon. The inspector itself consists of a total of four sections, three inspectors and the pro channel. With no tab selected, it contains the track strip inspector, which is essentially a channel strip similar to that found in the console view. It contains all the mixing controls for the current track or bus in the left-hand strip, while the right-hand strip depends on the track type in the left-hand side. If it's an audio track or bus, the right-hand strip shows the downstream bus or send if the send module is selected. If it's a MIDI track, the right-hand side consists of various MIDI tools, input quantize, arpeggiator, snap to scale settings, key and time adjustment settings, as well as the MIDI reverb and chorus controls. If the track is a simple instrument track, the right-hand side strip will show a strip with two tabs, one containing the downstream bus controls, the other the MIDI portion of the simple instrument track. If a main output is in the left-hand strip, the right-hand strip is blank. Changing the In Focus track will automatically switch the inspector to that track or bus, but you can lock it to a single track or bus if you wish. To do that, click on the required track or bus, click Hold on the name, and select the Lock option from the menu. To unlock, just repeat the process. This view of the inspector can also be narrowed to a single strip. To do that, click-drag one of the edges. Clicking on one of the inspector's tabs will automatically widen it until switched back to the track strip view, which automatically narrows it again. To widen it again permanently, just click-drag it out to the full width again. Click on one of the tabs at the top to bring the corresponding inspector into focus, or press its shortcut key brings the Clip Properties Inspector into focus. If a clip is already selected, its properties are automatically displayed and can be edited here. Click on a clip to select it and change the focus to that clip. This makes renaming multiple clips with different names a breeze. Click on a clip, rename it, click the next one, rename it, and so on. Renaming multiple clips with the same name is just as easy. Select all the clips and rename them all in one go. Any of the clip properties can be edited in the same way. The clip start time and length can be changed using those fields. Snap Offset is an audio clip only option. Normally a clip snap point reference is the start of the clip. This field shows if a different point is being used instead. It is displayed in samples and can be changed directly here. Alternatively set the now time at the point where you want the snap offset to reference and then right click over the clip and select Set Snap Offset to Now Time from the right-click menu. To reset it, enter 0 as the value. If there is a SMPTE timecode stamp associated with the clip, it will show in the original time field. The time base field controls clip behavior when a clip is locked and the project tempo changed. Set to Musical, the clip remains in its relative position on the timeline. Set to Absolute, and the clip remains in its absolute position while its position on the timeline changes. If Mute is checked, the clip will not be heard during playback. The Lock field is used to control whether the clip position is locked, just the data within the clip, or both position and data. If Off is selected, the clip and data can both be moved freely. Read Automation controls whether any clip automation associated with the clip is followed or not. This field is only editable if there is a clip automation present on the clip. Clips Linked displays how many clips, if any, are linked to the current one. Linked clips have the same content, name, and color. Changes made to the internal contents of any one of the linked clips is reflected in the others. The foreground and background color selectors control the relevant colors of the clip. Use Track Colors returns the clip to the default as set in Preferences. There are a further three property sections for clips. Groove Clip contains all the properties for groove clips. Looping, when checked, converts the clip into a groove clip. Groove clips can be rolled out to create repetitions of the clip, 
they will also follow any pitch markers present in the project. Note that V vocal clips and clips with audio snap active cannot be used as groove loops. Stretch to tempo stretches or shrinks the clip to fit the tempo. It uses the beats and clips markers and original tempo settings to calculate the change. The rest of the properties available for editing are dependent on the clip's looping and stretch to tempo states. Number of beats is the number of quarter beats that sonar has detected in the clip, while the original tempo indicates the tempo that the clip was recorded at. These two figures are closely related, and changing one will automatically change the other. Which of these is available to edit depends on the loop and stretch options. The next four options all refer to the pitch of the clip. Follow pitch sets whether the clip will respond to any pitch markers in the project. Pitch markers are markers inserted on the timeline that have pitch information within them and cause any groove clips with this follow pitch option set to change pitch at that point. The reference note field sets the clip's original pitch that is used for further pitch changes. Pitch is used to set an offset to this reference note, transposing the clip by the number of semitones, either up or down if a negative number is entered. Fine pitch does the same but in steps of ascent. The Audio Snap tab contains all the properties for Audio Snap clips. They won't be available unless Audio Snap is turned on, which can be done by clicking on Enable. To see the transients on the clip, the Tracks Edit filter needs to be set to Transients. Remember that Audio Snap, Groove Clips, and V Vocal are all mutually exclusive. Once turned on, most of the options available in the Audio Snap palette are here. Average Tempo, as detected, is shown here and can be changed by clicking on the drop down where other likely candidates are displayed, as well as the Project Tempo option. Follow Project Tempo forces the clip to follow the project's tempo map, while Follow option sets the resolution used. Filter Threshold and Filter Resolution are used to disable transients based on either level using the threshold control or their position relative to the beat using the resolution field. Lower threshold settings enable more transients. Online and Offline Render are used to choose the default render algorithm used for playback and bouncing, respectively. There is a trade-off with the online render between quality and processing power used. Results will always be better when bounced. The Enable Stretch option stretches the clip to fill a specific amount of time. The stretch amount indicates any change to the clip in percentage terms. New Duration specifies the length of the clip. New Through Time specifies the clip endpoint. These settings will reflect any changes made using the Control Click Drag method of stretching clips in the track view. At the very bottom is the clip effects bin, where the clip effects can be managed from. Any existing clip effects will show here, and right clicking will show the FX management choices. Click on the track tab to show the track properties inspector. The current track or bus properties are displayed. Click on a different track or bus and the inspector, unless locked, will follow. If a bus is selected, there will be fewer options available than on tracks. Select multiple tracks in the track view to make changes to more than one track at a time. This makes multiple track changes fast and easy. Track or bus name can be changed by clicking in the name field and typing a new one. The Audio Snap render settings are only available on audio tracks and set the default for the whole track. The default option uses the settings from the Audio Snap Preferences dialog. Under the Automation heading, there are two settings. The first sets how automation responds if a project's tempo is changed. If set to Musical, the automation retains its position relative to the time ruler. Set to Absolute, it retains its absolute position and moves along the time ruler accordingly. The Automation Write mode controls how automation is written in real time if Write Enable is on. Touch, Overwrite, or Latch. Touch always follows existing automation unless the control is being touched in which case new automation data is written. Overwrite starts with writing automation data immediately and continues to overwrite all existing automation. Latch will follow existing automation until the control is touched, at which point it starts overwriting existing automation and continues to do so until playback is stopped. The color section sets the colors used for the whole track, either on an individual track basis using the foreground and background options, or to follow the track color preference setting. Use the tracks field to choose which of the 10 track color groups is used. There is also a description field here where track notes can be made. 
Simply click in the field and type as required. The Pro Channel is a modular fantasy console built into every track and bus in Sonar. It is designed to emulate many of the classic console processors and has a small graphic footprint and low CPU demand. Not only does it sound great, but is also very ergonomic. Simply click on a track or bus to bring it into view. It is always there, ready to be adjusted when needed. No more hunting through VST windows to make changes. It consists of one or more modules that, with the exception of the ever-present Quad Curve EQ, can be added and removed as required. X2 ships with several modules including compressors, reverb, and tube staturators. There are also more available from Cakewalk and third-party developers. The Inspector. All your track and clip properties, track control and pro channel, in one easy-to-use space, hidden or shown in an instant.